Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go Hey my squeeze, this is me Karen I'm back at you for another video Today this is a sad video This is about Fitch who died t t Yesterday or the day before Well the news came out yesterday uh, I am in my PJs. I just woke up and I'm like, I gotta talk about this. I talked about it on my podcast yesterday, so if you guys want to look here, listen to it on my podcast, you can. Um, I just feel like this is really sad. It's really sad, and it, like it gets me upset because, like, I used to always watch his videos on TikTok. I follow him follow his wife and every day I'll watch your videos and like smile sorry I like smile and laugh and like like the video or heart the video and I've been watching him since so you think you can dance when he was on there he was one of my favorite dancers and watching him every day used to cheer me up like watching his videos every day used to cheer me up I'm like, <clears throat> when I heard the news, I was driving home with my mom, and I was like, oh my god, mom, and I was like freaking out, and she's like, what? I said, you're not going to believe this, I said, Switch passed away, he took his own, he took his own life, and she was in shock, because my mom watched Twitch on So You Think You Can Dance, and she watched Ellen too, so we used to see him on Ellen. And I used to watch his TikTok video all the time. He just made one two days ago. And I posted that on my Instagram. So if you're not on my Instagram, go follow me. I know my stories are probably annoying because it's all about him. I'm just like posting things because I'm like so upset about it. So I keep posting about him. I don't know. Ugh. I was just so upset about it. And... I kind of know the mindset that he was in because I unsuccessfully tried to commit suicide, like try to take my own life. And during that time, when you're trying to take your own life, you feel like nothing is it's going to get better. You feel stuck. You feel like you're always going to be depressed. You feel like you just want all the pain to go away. And. I feel like it does get better. Like sometimes I feel stuck and stuff, but I feel like it, my life got a little better. And the one reason why I am not suicidal anymore is because my nephew. I want to see him grow up. I want to see him reach milestones and stuff. But with Twitch, like. He must have been really in a deep depression that his own family couldn't keep, like they couldn't keep him alive. Like he was that depressed, he just wanted to leave. And I just feel so bad that this this happened. He looks so happy. I'm telling you guys, like. You guys are on his social media and watch him on so you think you can dance and everything. You would be like, what? Because he looks so happy. And he looks so happy with his family and they all like they all just look so happy and he looks so happy. And I wrote on one of my Instagrams. I thought you were so happy and I was like I thought you had the perfect life but you were in silent pain that's what I wrote on my Instagram and he obviously was in silent pain because from the outside you would not even think that he was depressed like like that It kind of like reminds me of Robin Williams when Robin Williams did this. I was in shock too. I was like, what? 
on oh, Twitch, I'm in even more shock because his videos, like, he was always smiling and dancing and, like, just having a good old time every day. Like, he'll post daily dance videos every single day. And I used to just watch them every single day. So now that he's passed away, I'm like, who am I going to watch now? Like, I watched, he used to make my day. Like, he used to make me smile at his dances and I just thought he was just so cool his dance moves and everything he's a great dancer like he really he really was and he seemed like such a positive person that's what everybody's saying that he was so positive and he loved his family and everything and I feel bad for his wife and his kids. How do you explain that to your kids that your dad's not coming back? Like, that's just so sad to me. Like, uh, I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm just really sad about it upset about it to be honest I'm more than sad I'm upset I just want to I just want to know like why like what was he depressed about and and did his wife even know he was depressed or did he just hide it silently not say anything it just makes you think and I just know that feeling when someone takes their life or tries to take their life I know that mindset that mindset is awful it is awful it is like I remember when I was suicidal four times it was awful I did, <clears throat> that mindset is just like you want the pain to permanently be gone and you feel like the only way the pain will permanently be gone is if you take your own life and sometimes I feel like people who do this they don't really want to kill themselves. They just want the pain to go away temporarily. And the only way the pain can go away temporarily is if they take their own life. <clears throat> so that's what I feel about it. Um, I'm just going to miss his videos and his dances and stuff. I was, I was watching more of them yesterday. I'm posting them on my um, Instagram stories. Um, I'm just in shock for words. I really am. Yeah. I'm so sad. Like, for real. I just had to make this video. Like, I had to make my podcast episode about it, too. So, if you guys want to listen to my podcast episode, it's in the description box down below. Where my, where you can click on the link and I'll take you right to my um, podcast. <sighs> yeah, sorry. I just woke up. I'll take you right to my podcast. So, um, uh, if you guys loved watching Twitch, please like this video. Like, comment, share, turn on notification on bell on so you know every time me, I, Kara, Dimples post my video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!